We're going to start the show off with Victor's package. Uh, Victor's package today is uh, we're doing the thing on the drought, I believe. In the drought, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, we've come out of the drought pretty good, right? I mean, uh, I think we're getting record-breaking rain uh, this this uh, month. We have like we're like 20, 20, 20 inches, twenty nine inches, I think, something like that. Probably somewhere this in there. Year? No, but it's just year. within this month. Just within this oh. month. So, uh, all right, Victor, let's see what your package is. It is dry. In fact, we are starting to see the sun break through the clouds. Now, that is good news for anyone who has been sick and tired of these storms. Now, behind me, you can see the LA River with water levels much lower than what we saw a couple of days ago, but the damage has been done. This powerful storm has dropped record amounts of rain in some areas, receiving six to nine inches. Now this is a storm we have not seen in so many years with high wind gusts blowing across Ventura and Los Angeles counties, bringing so many trees down, toppling power lines and causing power outages. In Koreatown, you can see people having a hard time holding onto their umbrellas. While in Victorville, two cars submerged in this fast moving river along the road. Two people were trapped as swift water rescue crews managed to save one victim but the other, unfortunately, did not survive. The second vehicle was fully emerged in water, and we were trying to attempt to make uh, uh, our way out to that vehicle and to uh, effect a rescue, uh, but the waters were five, six, seven feet at that point. When we have weather conditions like we're experiencing right now, to turn around and, and do not drown. And what we mean by that is do not try to cross any type of moving water. You, you don't know what's underneath, and you don't know how powerful that water is until it's too late. Now, as for the mountains, they received several inches of snow. Good news for anyone planning on hitting the slopes this week. Back here now, even though the bulk of the storm has come and gone, forecasters are expecting more rain on Monday. But Terry, I am looking at my phone's weather app and it says it'll be sunny for the remainder of the week. In Atwater Village, I'm Victor Park for Loud Labs News. All right.